Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What I've guessed today is this week's event, The Reset. As always, if you're looking for anything specific, check out the description below. There's going to be timestamps over there, so finding things is going to be much easier. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Uh, starting off first, you want to check out the special blueprint Avenger, and the first thing I would recommend checking out is this Lightweight M4 blueprint. Yes, another week he is selling this weapon. Um, if you guys are new to the game, if you're coming back, whatever the case is, if you don't have this blueprint, 100% buy it. It is arguably the best weapon in the game, um, definitely the best assault rifle in the game. So, as I said, if you don't have this, 100% purchase it right now. A few spots down, you want to check out the stamina gear mod and also this performance gear mod. Um, if you guys are doing different builds, if you are one of those people that experiments with builds a lot, instead of going out and farming for specific mods, uh, for example, if you need stamina and skill power mods or stamina and skill haste mods or even something like first aid self-heal mods, anything like that, I would recommend buying these uh, blueprints 100%. Again, if you're new, if you're coming back and you don't have them, definitely purchase them right now. Next up, you guys want to stop by the special equipment venture still at the base operations, and the first thing you want to look at is this Pakan. Now what it comes with is 21% damage to targets out of cover, 276 gear score, and for the talents it has Unforgiving, Determined, and the Pakan Exotic Talent. Now honestly, this could be both really good for PvE and PvP. It does have Unforgiving, it does have Determined. In my personal uh, kind of experience, I would use this for PvE, uh, just because the Pakan isn't a really good PvP weapon. So, if you are using um, something like a striker build and you want to get your skills a little bit quicker, you could use this as your primary or even your secondary. You could reroll Unforgiving, get something like Predatory, and kind of have this as your, um, you know, as your secondary kind of support weapon so you can get healing and also get your skills a little bit quicker. So, you know, if you are in need of this, definitely pick it up. Now, going all the way down, you want to check out this Prototype Stamina mod. This is actually a God Roll 267 Stamina and 3,312 skill power mod. I know skill power and stamina is not the best combination for a mod, but if you are using a kind of hybrid build or if you want to go for a tanky build with a little, a little bit of skill power, this mod is perfect. Honestly, as I said, it is god roll. They are pretty hard to find um, being this good. So if you are in need of this, if you are interested, check out this Venger. The special blueprints vendor at Kim Clinton is next to my list, and the one thing you want to check out from him is this electronics gear mod blueprint. Um, as I said before, with the stamina and the performance gear mod blueprints, if you want to experiment with different builds, if you are one of those people that use different uh, builds, you know, every day or every other day, this is an awesome blueprint to have. Um, once again, if you're missing like skill power and skill haste mods, skill power health mods, you can pick up this blueprint and hopefully craft a god roll. Moving over to the Special Equipment Avenger, still at Kim Clinton, the one thing you want to check out from him is this Liberator. Uh, what it comes with is 20% enemy armor damage, 269 gear score, and for the talents it has Predatory, Dominant, and Determined. Once again, this is a really good kind of secondary pickup um, for PvP or PvE. It does have Predatory, which is going to give you the healing. It does have Determined, which is pretty good uh, to get your skills a little bit quicker. And also, you can reroll Dominant, go for something like Responsive, and your damage is going to be increased by a little bit. So, once again, if you're looking for a perfect kind of backup weapon uh, to use as your secondary for PvP or PvE, this Liberator is actually very, very good. If you're interested in a 3% Damage Elites mod, you want to check out the Cavern Safe House. He's actually selling one. It does come with 205 Electronics and 3% Damage Elites. Unfortunately, it is not 4%, which kind of sucks. But if you are looking for this mod for PvE uh, to make your, you know, tactician build a little bit stronger or just pretty much need it for PvE, um, again, visit the Cavern Safe House. The final open world adventure you guys want to check out is the Crypt, and what he's actually selling is a pretty nice Tyrant Suppressor. What it comes with is 7.50% critical hit chance, 5.50% headshot damage, and 2.50% stability. Unfortunately, you are missing the critical hit damage, but... It's not that big of a deal, honestly. Um, if you are going for mainly critical hit chance, yes, it's good to have critical hit damage. But if you roll this on like a SMG um, and you have a lot of crit chance already on your gear, it's not going to affect you that much. And again, you can only use this on SMGs. So, um, you know, it's not going to be that big of an issue. But again, if you're interested in this, check out the Crypt Safe House. Getting straight into the DZ, the first person you guys want to visit is the East 50 Day Street Checkpoint. And what he's actually selling are some pretty good Savage Gloves. Um, what they come with is 1260 Firearms, 
12% SMG damage, 5% critical hit chance, and 4% health on kill. Honestly, the only thing you really have to do is get rid of the health on kill, go for a critical hit damage, and you will have some pretty perfect gloves for your SMG build. Uh, so if you want to use this with like a 5-piece Banshee and Savage gloves, or if you want to use like Alpha Bridge and Savage with like a Vigorous chest piece or, or, or something like that, it just really depends on you what you want to use this with. Um, but again, these gloves are pretty good, so definitely pick them up. A few spots down, you want to stop by the East, 46 street checkpoint, and the first thing you want to look at is this MP5 ST. What it comes with is 22% critical hit chance, 272 gear score, and for the talents it comes with Adept, Hurried, and Responsive. This, in my opinion, is a really good pickup for a D3 uh, build if you want to use that for PvP or PvE. The only thing you really have to do is get rid of Adept, uh, go for something like Deadly, and this will be an awesome pickup. You already have Hurried, which is really good on a shield build. You already have Responsive for the damage, and if you add Deadly, you will even get more damage. So um, again, this MP5 is pretty good. Um, so, you know, if you're in need of this, definitely pick it up. And last but not least, you want to check out this Prototype Performance mod. This is actually a 2% Pulse Critical Hit Damage mod. If you're going for a damage build for PvE, for PvP, and you want to use a pulse and make that pulse really, really good. Uh, this mod is once again god roll, so definitely check it out. Up next, you guys want to stop at the East 42nd Street checkpoint and check out this tenacious mask. What it comes with is 1270 electronics, 4% critical hit chance, and 17% burn resistance. Um, honestly, this is a really, really good roll on the mask. Uh, you already have crit chance, which is really, really good. You already have burn resistance, and you already have a high electronics role. I do understand electronics are not really the most popular thing in the game now, so you probably will re-roll this into like stamina or firearms, but besides that, it's pretty good, and if you want to keep electronics for some, uh, you know, for some reason, you already have a really good role, so um, this one's pretty good. I would highly recommend you checking this out. Next up, you guys want to visit the East 31st Street Checkpoint, and what he's actually selling is a pretty nice Omega Rifle Suppressor. Now what it comes with is 17.50% headshot damage, 4% critical hit damage, and 2.50% critical hit chance. If you guys are going for a Hunter's Faith build, if you're going for a um, MDR build, or, or just any build kind of focus on headshot damage, this scope is pretty good. Unfortunately, the headshot damage could be a little bit higher, I'm pretty sure by like 1%. But besides that, this is pretty good. It already has crit chance, already has critical hit damage. So you know, if you're in need of this, 100% pick it up. The 5th Avenue checkpoint is next to my list, and what he's actually selling is a pretty nice headshot scope. Uh, what it comes with is 18% headshot damage, 2.50% stability, and 4% critical hit damage. Um, again, unfortunately, you are missing the critical hit chance, um, but you know, it is what it is. If you are going for headshot damage, then uh, this scope is kind of perfect. Um, once again, if you want to fit this on your MDR, your sniper rifles, even lightweight and fours, this scope is located at the 5th Avenue checkpoint. Heading over to the west side, you want to stop at the west 39th Street checkpoint, and what he's actually selling is a pretty good M700 carbon. Now what it comes with is 160% headshot damage, 281 gear score, and for the talents it has repaired, capable, and elevated. Um, honestly, this is not a perfect roll, um, but if you reroll capable, get disciplined, this will be pretty good for a Hunter's Faith build. Originally, you would want prepared, uh, disciplined, and kind of competent for the max amount of damage, but... This one's still pretty good if you like sniping, if you want to use this as your backup for, um, you know, your striker build or or something like that. This weapon isn't bad, um, so again, visit the West 39 Street checkpoints if you are interested. If you're looking for a decent vigorous chest piece, you want to stop by the West 46 Street checkpoints. He's actually selling one, it comes with 1262 electronics, 7% skill haste, 4% all resistance, and 28% increased kill XP. The only thing you really have to do is get rid of the all of resistance, uh, go for health or whatever else you need on your build. And this one's pretty good. Um, again, you can probably optimize this and make it a little bit better. But besides that, this one's pretty good. Um, if you want to use a 5-piece tactician with a vigorous chest piece or any other build with it, um, again, it's going to fit perfectly. And this one, once again, is pretty nice. Last but not least, you want to stop by the West, 53rd Street Checkpoint, still in the Dark Zone, and check out this prototype performance mod. What it comes with is 2% pulse critical hit chance, so if you guys are looking for a kind of high critical hit chance build, you want to use this mod 100%, unfortunately you do have to use a pulse with it. So if you don't like using pulse, I wouldn't recommend buying this uh, mod, but if you want to go for the maximum crit chance on your ARs or SMGs, LMGs, whatever you're using, this mod is a god rule, so again, definitely pick it up. 
But anyways, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.